those lights flicker. Wow, that's gonna be annoying. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, I hope those flickering lights aren't too distracting. It's distracting me. But um, I wanna sit on the couch and we still have the Christmas tree up because um, it's Christmas all year round. Today I wanted to show you my Mary-Kate and Ashley collection. Um, I have a lot of their stuff. They were a very big inspiration for me growing up. Um, I really enjoyed watching their videos and collecting their dolls and everything. So this I've been collecting for a long time, way over 10 years. So um, I have a lot of stuff to get to. So we can just get started. My bunny's trying to eat a cough drop. What are you doing? So I have everything in like a tub um, and it's way overflowed. <laughs> So this isn't going to be in any particular order. I'm just going to grab stuff out and show you. So the first thing is uh, not in a case, but it's the Mary-Kate and Ashley Sweet 16 License to Drive PS2 game. Um, the back is very scratched up because I don't take care of things. It actually sucks. It's not that great. Um, it's kind of like life a little bit where you're in a car and you take turns and whatever, but um, I didn't think it was that fun and it was kind of annoying. But I own that, so that's cool. Next are tapes. I have a bunch of tapes right on top. Uh, first is It Takes Two. It's a classic. This is one of my favorite Olsen Twins movies. Right up there with To Grandmother's House We Go, which I don't even think I own. And this is actually on Netflix right now. So if you're interested, go watch it, it's free. Winning London. Um, I remember not liking this movie. It wasn't that great, but um, it's the Olsen twins, so I have it. I got it at a thrift store for a dollar, if you can see that. I just love when they write in permanent marker the price of things on the items. That's great, thank you for that. I have books that have that on there too. Like, they took a permanent marker and wrote the price on the books. Uh, who does that? Switching goals. I don't remember ever watching this movie, so it never really had an effect on me. Um, this is one of their older ones. You can see they're pretty young. Yeah, I don't... I don't remember this movie, like, at all. Holiday in the Sun, I do remember this. I more so remember the ones that were filmed when they were a little bit older. Um, some of the ones where they were a little younger, I don't really remember. But also, a lot of this stuff I just have collected over the years. I haven't had all of this stuff for 20 years, you know? Some of this I did get when it came out, but a lot of it was just, like, collected from thrift stores and stuff like that over the years. Next was How the West Was Fun. Don't remember this one. I'm not doing any of this stuff justice. <laughs> I mean, I don't think any of these movies were really that good. We were all just so obsessed with the girls that we didn't really care what they came out with. We were like all about it. So I have all of this stuff. And I remember um, we would go to Blockbuster a lot and Every single time I would get a Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen tape. And we spent a lot of money <laughs> on the same tapes over and over and over again. And they should have just bought me these tapes to start with. It would have saved them a lot of money. Because <laughs> I would always... To Grandmother's House we go, I would get a lot at Blockbuster. And that place wasn't cheap. It was expensive. Like, when we went to Blockbuster, that was, like, special. Billboard Dad, I love this movie. This was a really cute one. Their dad is single, and they're trying to hook him up with someone. Very, very cute. And it turns out I own our music video twice. So, I have that. And this shows the, the back, the, um, all the parties. Those are my jam, the You're Invited. I still know the theme song where they look ridiculous in their little overalls and backwards hats. So good. These are music videos from those You're Invited videos, it looks like. Mystery ones and the You're Invited ones. I have Win in Rome and New York Minute. I do love this one. And I have the first matching book to this. 
There's something about Roxy. I have that, but there's one for Jane. I don't remember what it's called, but there's a book about Jane from this movie, and I still don't own it, and I really want to own it, so that's probably my next purchase for them. Double Double Toil and Trouble. I actually remember buying this. This was in one of those um, bins at the supermarket where it's like 10 and below for a DVD, um, and I think this was like $10, which when you think about it, that's kind of expensive. Is it just me or is that expensive? 10 bucks? Next is Our Lips Are Sealed. Oh, hmm. Witness Protection Program. That's right, okay, yeah. This is a good one. <laughs> Getting there, Sweet 16 and License to Drive. So that's what that game was about. And also the whole Sweet 16 book series came out of this movie. This was a good movie. I really liked this. They're trying to learn how to drive and they go to the DMV and they're like taking a million pictures. It's like, that is so not how the DMV works. Like, you take a picture and you get out, but it was good. I liked it. And also, um, I don't remember if it was in the movie or on a book cover. Um, and also, I can't tell them apart anymore, but one of them had really messy, loose braids in the front, and I was like, I have got to get my hair to look like that. And I tried it, and my mom was like, you need to brush your hair. And I'm like, but it looked so good on her! Next is the vacation parties you're invited. So this is three different um, parties. Hawaiian beach party, ballet party, and Christmas party. Ballet party, I, I can't even tell you how many times I watched that. That is my favorite party they've ever done. I absolutely love it. And when I was a kid, I really wanted to be a ballerina, but I was so terrified of being around strangers that I never did it. Um, I also wanted to do cross country never did that I I had good intentions there were a lot of things I wanted to do but I was like wait mom you're not gonna be there never mind and I know I have the other ones too but right here is so little time volume 4 they had a TV show called so little time and I really liked it I thought it was really good I think if something like that came out now it would have done well I think it would be great if like Amazon Prime would pick this up or something and then we could get all the episodes so I'd love to see the episodes again, even though I have them on VHS. Who has the time to rewind and watch and ugh. And the tapes are always warped. So I never actually watch these tapes, but um, I'm definitely not getting rid of them. So next on top, I see some perfumes. I had the top on this box and I definitely shouldn't have because it was overflowing and now they're like crushed. They were the coast to coast. One was New York City and the other was LA. So this is Ashley, and this is Coast to Coast, New York City, and this is Star Passion Fruit. So it looks like that, and the bottom just fell out, so here's this, and it says Mary Kate and Ashley Coast to Coast. It actually smells pretty good for being like 15 years old? How old is this? 2005, so 14 years old. That's delightful. That's so surprising. 14 years? That smells good. So Mary-Kate and Ashley are on both. So there's Mary-Kate and there's Ashley. And then there's Mary-Kate and there's Ashley. And then on the other side it says LA. And then on this side it says New York City. So the LA one is Beach Honeysuckle. That smells so good. Wow. <laughs> That's really nice. I really like that. I might actually have to start wearing this one because that smells amazing. How do these smell so good for being so old? So I'm seeing a couple dolls. Most of them don't have their clothes on. Also, you can definitely tell that I totally cut her hair and she's not wearing clothes. Um, they had clothes that didn't fit Barbies. Like they fit differently because these aren't Barbies. And then there's this one. Looks like I also cut her hair, and she's wearing this. This was from the Mary Kate Oh, cool. She can, like, dance. And then she's got her little jacket on. They look so terrible. I played hard on my stuff. Okay, so there's this one, and she also does that thing with her weird... Oh, so does she. So how many... Okay, so three of them do, and two of them don't have that weird waist thing. I don't know if these... I don't think these pants came with this doll with the shirt, but okay. So that's what they're wearing. 
and none of these are wearing shoes. So I have a couple magazines here. Marie Claire with Ashley Olsen. This is September 2007, and this is September 2009. Ashley again. I, I cannot tell these people apart. Well, these are all Ashley. Okay. And then Allure, December 2013. Wow, that wasn't that long ago. And that's Ashley too. It's weird, because when I think the Olsen twins, I think it kind of ended in like 2005 to me was like the end of the Mary Kate and Ashley era. So to see them on covers in 2013, it's like, really? Okay. Next are a bunch of books because I was a total nerd and I read all the time. I have one through eight of the Mary Kate and Ashley in action. This was also a TV show, but I never watched it. I only collected the books. It's got pictures and big, big font. So, definitely for little children, but I enjoy them. These were originally $4.50. That's a lot of money for such a teeny tiny little book, but books are expensive. You know those like get into reading books where there's like three words on each page? Those are five bucks. What? That's crazy. I wish I had a system for this stuff because this is a total mess. Maybe I should do that. When I move, I think I'm gonna put everything in order. Here I have a couple Full House books. Full House Club Stephanie, Flipmingo Revenge. This has seen some things. This was absolutely at a thrift store and my God, someone had a um, hole puncher and hole punched this like crazy and also spilled something on the front, so. Whatever. You can tell the books that I got new because they are pristine. Never in my life have I cracked a spine. So to see things like this where it's like folded and gross and it's yellowed pages and like that's mold. Um, why? why? Here's Full House Sisters, Two on the Town. Next are a bunch of the mysteries. These I loved. These I picked up as they came out. I really, really enjoyed these books. And then in the middle, I don't know if any of these have them in there. So there's the Case of the Big Scare Mountain Mystery, the Case of the Nutcracker Ballet, Case of the Dog Show Mystery. This was a really good one. Case of High Seas Secret. This was a good one. This was my favorite mystery book. It's the Case of the Cheerleading Tattletale. This I got from a Scholastic Book Fair. Those were my favorite things ever. My mom would give me $10 and oh my God, it was the best thing in the world. So this was $5, this was half of my money. And I was like, um, yes, I'm buying that. So this actually does look pretty rough, really bad actually, because this was my favorite book. I read this all the time, several times. The Case of the Flying Phantom, Case of the Game Show Mystery. This was another really good one. Some of these I remember because I read them so much. Um, I was a big rereader because I'd read so fast that I ran out of books, so I would just have to keep reading them over again. This was based on the movie, so it's like a movie novelization of Passport to Paris, Two of a Kind Diaries, Dare to Scare, Another Adventures, The Case of the Clue at the Zoo, and then some Oh, here's another, two, two of a Kind Diaries, Island Girls. And then some So Little Time books, Dating Game and Girl Talk. And this is the You're Invited to Mary Kate and Ashley's Christmas Party. I don't know what was there, but uh, there's a hole there now. And it's like, you know, it's a cute little book and it has pictures from the movie. Next is gonna be some tapes, some more tapes. So here's The Adventures, The Case of the Fun House Mystery. And that's really cool because it's like a fun house mirror. And then U.S. Space Camp. And then our first video. Oh wow, that's a throwback. This is great. This, this is a good one. Colleen Ballinger, when her and her sister are doing I Am The Cute One, that's from this. That was my favorite song they did. And it's the creepiest music video. Uh, I'm sure it's somewhere on YouTube. Go watch it. You're invited to the sleepover party. So Little Time Volume 2. And the challenge. 
This was a good movie. The Case of the Shark Encounter. The Case of the Logical Eye Ranch. The Case of the Thorn Mansion. And then the Christmas Collection that has Christmas Party, Christmas Caper, and the Mystery Cruise. So there's three episodes on that one. And then the School Dance Party. Hi. <laughs> So my uh, memory card ran out of space, so I had to get another one. Favorite parties has fashion party, costume party, and camp out party. And costume party was actually a pretty good one. What a cutie. Here's So Little Time Volume 1 and Volume 3. And I'm seeing all of the Full House seasons. I have all but seven, number seven. I don't know why I don't have number seven but I never got it, but I have one through six. So adorable, little babies. Looks like that, very cute. And they used to have slip cases. Like this one still has its little case on top where you open it and then it looks like that. Uh, I don't know what happened to this one. Uh, I just don't take care of my stuff, so it's gone. But those are the Full House seasons. There's Full House Way to Go Chipmunk Cheeks. Uh, I think this is the only Full House book I have. Everything else is either Full House Michelle or Stephanie. So here's Full House Michelle, April Fools. And then Michelle and Friends, Too Many Teddies. Stephanie, Phone Call from a Flamingo. Classic. Daddy's Not So Little Girl. That has been ripped off, the bottom part there. Um, but this is one of my favorites. This was my cousin's, and then she gave it to me. Oh, <laughs> I wrote my name in this one. I literally wrote in this book. Wow. Who am I? And then here's Full House Stephanie, the secret's out, and the back is gone. But there's the front. An animal got to this. <laughs> So that's fun. And then Full House Stephanie, What Can You Grow on a Family Tree? This is actually a fairly new book to me. Definitely not new because this is a mess. But um, I got this, I didn't live in Florida yet, so it was probably eight years ago. But this is probably the newest thing I have added to my collection. And then this is the book I remember. I remember like this I would read all the time. And there's most definitely some rodent damage up there. Like, someone has definitely chewed this book up. But it's really good. Oh, yeah, they, like, chewed this book up. But it's an awesome book. I really enjoyed this one. For being afraid of the camera, he sure likes to be in the frame. Next is The Adventures and its Candy Cane Clue. And I took way better care of this book. And the little thing is still in it too. And then a bunch of two of a kind books. It's a twin thing. This was another one that I read over and over again. And then one twin too many. To snoop or not to snoop. It's another one I read a lot. My sister the supermodel. And let's party. I owned this book like three times because I kept picking it up not realizing I already owned it. Still have a bookmark in there, which was an American Girl postcard thing. Here's the costume party by itself, not in that um, collection. And Hawaiian beach party. Ballet party, baby! I have watched this movie so many times. So many times. It's so good. The way they say New York, New York in the beginning like cracks me up every time. And then the birthday party. And at the bottom here I have a couple of these little clues. This is from the cheerleading one. I don't know what book this is from. And then this is probably the Christmas one. And then this is also from the cheerleading one. These would come in there and then on the back they would have little games on it. This is the memory game. 50 glass eavesdropper. Just put a glass up to a closed door and you can hear what's happening on the other side. This is ways to spy on people. Yeah, that's, that's legal, right? And then dancing girls code. So you can write 
in a code and then nobody can see what it means. I used to use those for bookmarks a lot, but usually I'd read them all the way through because they're really short. And then these are the little cakes because I had the Sweet 16 dolls and it says happy birthday to each of them. It came with like this piece of cardboard and then you could fold it up to make it into a cake box and then you could put the cake inside of the cake box and then open up the box and there's the cake. It was all very interactive. It was nice, but um, I don't have it anymore. I don't know what happened to the box, but at least I kept this. At least, good thing I have this. So that is my Mary-Kate and Ashley collection. I have way too much crap, but I would love to actually finish out my collection. Uh, to get to Grandmother's House we go, why do I not own that? That is my favorite movie they've made. What a delight. I'm looking at all this stuff and I'm like, um, do I have a problem? Depends on who you ask. Um, I really don't collect things. I collect Mary-Kate and Ashley. I collect R.L. Stein. I collect Taylor Swift. Other than that, I don't really collect anything. And, I mean, if you're going to collect anything, have it be knowledge. I'm collecting books. So I could always pass these down to my child that I adopt. Um, I think that would be really cool to have all this stuff that I loved and then, you know, have my kid love it too. In the next few years, I'm actually planning on adopting. Oh my God. I kind of want to keep a lot more of the sentimental stuff just in case it happens fairly soon. Um, that way I have all this stuff and I can watch it with the child and, you know, I don't know if they'll care, but we'll see. I don't have any merch by Mary-Kate and Ashley. I used to have some of the clothes because they had a clothing line. Of course they did. They had everything. They were ruling the world. Um, I don't know where any of the clothes are because I remember I had this weird like pink blouse. Like I am not a blouse person. Where? What? But I owned it. I don't know what happened. I'm surprised I didn't put it in my box with all this other crap. But the, the closest I could get in my stuff was this, it's, it's um, San Francisco. And Full House was filmed in San Francisco. That's cool, I don't actually know where they were filmed. Probably in LA, I'm guessing. But it was based in San Francisco. So it's kind of like I'm wearing their merch. I'm repping them. I would love to get like a Mary-Kate and Ashley shirt though with like their face on it. Um, might need to look into that. I think that could be cool. I want like built-in huge bookshelves and I think it'd be cool to have like a Mary-Kate and Ashley bookshelf and then you know an R.L. Stein bookshelf and some of this stuff I can have like facing out and some of the dolls and really make it a big nice looking thing that you could look at and be like well that's cool and not so much just books lined up you know I want it to be cool to look at but I'm definitely taking this stuff with me <laughs> moving is gonna be so expensive <laughs> Um, I have this really cool habit of never getting rid of things, so I have way too much stuff and all of it is very important, so important. I can't bear to be without it. I really need to work on that because a lot of this stuff I don't need and it's going to cost me a lot more than necessary to move and also when I get there I'm not going to have any space for any of this stuff. So uh, hopefully I get my act together. We'll find out. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.